Hey everybody, it's Keith McGinnis here with KCDC Designs. Let me show you how I always get a perfect finish when I apply the ultimate top coat. So let's get at it. Okay, so we're ready for the ultimate top coat. I'm putting ultimate top coat natural. I have sanded the surface with 220. I've gone around my edges with a red Scotch-Brite pad. That's my red Scotch-Brite pad. And that's what I use to go around my edges and works extremely well on rock edges so you can get inside all of those little crooks and crannies and crevices. So I'll sand it with 220, sand it down the edges. I do have my backsplashes. There are a couple of them are set off camera, but I just wanted to show how I'm going to be applying the Ultimate Top Coat Natural to uh, the main countertop. Um, so I've sanded it down. I wiped it with paper towels. Then I also wiped it down with 91% isopropyl alcohol. And then again, this is a step. It's an extra step that I take. And this is what I, this is my homemade lint roller. So this is what I use because when you sand this down, I don't care how many times you wipe it down with isopropyl alcohol, if you run your hand across there, you're gonna feel little pieces of grit. And that's, you're gonna be able to feel those little nubs once the OTC uh, Ultimate Top Coat has dried. So this, to me, is a fantastic step that prevents me from having to do any buffing or sanding afterwards. And you'll actually be able to see on the blue tape the little bits of debris that it picks up. So all I do is I just simply go across the surface, and that pulls up any last bits of debris. For me, this is not easy for me to figure square footage. But I came up with 12 square feet. This design, I used three ounces per square foot. I mixed up 36 ounces and it actually ended up working out really, really well. So if I use, I always use the RK3 Designs formula for mixing uh, the Ultimate Top Coat. If I take 12 ounces times 0.275, it comes up to about 3.1, 3.2 uh, ounces of Ultimate Top Coat. Um, just because I have separate pieces and this is an odd shape, I'm going to mix up four and a half ounces of Ultimate Top Coat Natural. So then I'm going to take that 4.5 ounces times 0.16, and that I believe brings me to, I don't remember, it was 21 milliliters. <laughs> Whatever it came out to ounces, I said, how many milliliters? Because I have a little dosage cup right here. Um, and I know 30 milliliters is one ounce. So I'm going to go with 15 and then there's a five. So I'm going to go, it was, I think, 22. So I'm going to go with 25 milliliters of distilled water. I know there are better strainers to use, but I do strain my Ultimate Top Coat Natural because I do find that there are little bits of debris in the bottle even in a brand new unopened bottle. So these are, these are sink basket strainers is what they are. And it's a fairly wide webbing in there. That's why I, I usually put three or four of them on here. With the Ultimate Top Coat Natural, which is the mat, there are matting agents that can settle in the bottom of the bottle. So you wanna make sure and agitate that. I don't get real aggressive with shaking it. I don't wanna incorporate air. But on the same hand, I want to make sure that I get all those matting agents off the bottom of the bottle and get those incorporated as good as I can. A lot of times what I'll do is when I know I'm going to be using it, I just set it upside down and that gets all those matting agents to come off the bottom of the bottle. So if I'm going with uh, four and a half ounces of Ultimate Top Coat, I'm going to go with three ounces of Part A. And as you can see, that is the natural finish. I'm gonna go with three ounces of part A, and I'm gonna go with an ounce and a half of part B. I have my rollers already deshedded, so I'm ready to rock and roll. So as I strained that, it's, I know it's hard to see. There is a lot of little white specks on that filter. Those little specks would end up on the surface, and that's why I strain the UTC Natural. Mixing to the left, mixing to the right. I got nothing to say right here. Sorry. All right. I decided to get a roller pan. 
I'm all mixed up. Clock's ticking. Let's get her done. Okay. Now let's get the camera back onto the work surface. Okay. All right. I have one wet roller. I have two dry rollers prepped and ready to go. So I am going to saturate my wet roller really well. And let's get it on the surface. I am going to get my rock edges early and then I'll be able to straighten my roller out This is a drop-in sink, so it's not an undermount sink. Now I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that you're getting enough product on the surface so when you go to dry roll, you're not going to have to uh, You're going to have some product that the dry roller is going to be able to pick up, and that's the whole point of the dry roller. Here's a little booger right there. Almost looked like a uh, lint from the roller. What I'm doing now is I'm back rolling with my wet roller, and I'm doing this to get out the heavy lap lines. I can already see that this is going to start setting up rather quickly. Fortunately, this is a small piece. Okay, let's dry roll. Now with a rock edge, you can end up with little pockets of UTC, so it's okay to press a little bit harder with your uh, dry roller to make sure you get those out. All right, that's it. I'm gonna let the camera roll on that and uh, we'll kind of do a time lapse. So now here's a time lapse over the next 22 minutes, but notice those roller marks that you see, the very faint ones, how they completely disappear uh, within that 22 minutes as that begins to dry out and it dried out absolutely smooth There's no texture no orange peel uh, By using the RK3 designs formula to know how much water to add and by applying uh, the product correctly You can end up with an absolutely smooth Perfectly smooth finish. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something if you have any questions Please feel free to reach out and I would certainly do anything I can to help. I think it's an awesome product and Ultimate Top Goat goes on every single countertop that I do for customers. So thanks again. And once again, this is Keith McGinnis with KCDC Designs out of Eagle, Nebraska. Take care, y'all.